Hello everybody, it's Lesse and in the previous tutorial I showed you guys um, or we discussed a little bit about how to make our Minecraft styled Unity game. So basically I just created a new project, I uh, call this Unity Cra Unit Craft, sorry. And um, yeah, basically uh, we, I just put it on the floor and drew and a point light and the camera so first thing or the camera is standard delete the camera we don't need that one second thing is download um, my char um, I put a link in the description uh, import standard assets and let's see what's that I'll just leave it there and um, download the uh, the FPS project also open link about that also import all the standard assets now it should like this except for those texture thing that shouldn't be that's what I'll just leave second thing you do is you save your scene save scene as and we're just gonna call it main sorry, main level okay and just save it <coughs> Second thing we are going to do is gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it prefabs. So okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new cube. Now, if you can see, those this cube is one by one by one. So that's gonna be now our standard size of each block, one by one by one. And if you can see, it's maybe a little bit small, but I don't really think so. Well, we can size the player always. So, I want you to then you just drag the um, player into the game. Now, most of you will immediately see that it is the FPS um, player. So, you just have to download the FPS asset and the FPS player. So, to be straight, we're still gonna make a Minecraft based game. But I'm gonna do it with damages. I'm gonna do damage the blocks and stuff like that. So it, it I don't know it's it just looks nice if we should we do it like that. I'm sorry. Um, I, what what you do then is you gonna give everything a nice texture. So we go to prefabs. Oh, we're just gonna create a new map. I create and oh sorry. Delete that one. Stupid one. And create, and we're just gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this material. And we're just gonna drag it into there. Open that up. I'm gonna create a new material. I just saw I spelled it wrong. Sorry for that. So, that's better. Okay, we're just gonna mm, do this to the floor. Let's just call it floor. And we're gonna just give it a little bit more. I don't know, a little bit more brown. This color is flying. So it's a little bit too dark. Um, let's make it blue. A little bit more blue. It's still way too dark. That's a little bit too blue. And this is really perfect. Um, for now, we're just gonna create again a new material. And we're gonna call this one dirt. Uh, we, you know, just type into Google Minecraft dirt texture, and I am very sure you will find a dirt texture. But uh, I don't know, it's not that we have that many time. And you no, know, I'm just gonna make this dirt. 
color and in the next tutorial I will put a dirt texture in it but now we because we don't have really that much time so yeah when you do that you gonna call this block also just dirt dirt and just drag it into the prefab file and now we have a block dirt okay now let's we have to go now if you can see we're gonna go to game I we have something that basically looks like a machine gun. But we don't want that. So normally everything should be set. If it isn't set, just set everything right. And if you have problems with setting everything right, you know, just uh, look into a tutorial. You know, first just do this away. We don't need any audio for now. I uh, will damage and. Uh, uh, Damage will high up that to 30 because wooden doesn't really the range about four blocks I think is in Minecraft so reload time I'll oh, just leave it like that reload time well we have a little bit cooling down it's nice. Um, just and now, well, let's test first if it works. Well, we're gonna do some modifications to the dirt block first. We're gonna let it apply damage. Just go, just go to the FPS project files, and it will send something to charge your damage. Just drag it to there. Continue. Okay. Uh, be sure you leave the inspector open while you hit play. And walk to it. And so oh, crap, and see if it does damage to it. Well, if you can see, it did damage and it's gone. I don't know how, but it just did damage. And if you can see in the beginning, we couldn't apply damage to it because we were not standing close enough. So if you can see that works already, fine, very fine, and everything worked perfectly. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna duplicate our dirt block. I'm gonna call this dirt. I'm gonna call this drop. So basically, the thing it has to drop. Well, now it should just drop uh, way too big. So we're gonna scale it down. We're gonna scale it down to 1.10 or 1.2. Sorry, 1.2. 1.2. Well, I think it's still a little bit small. Let's make three of it. You know, and that's maybe a little bit too big, but you can adjust it to your own personal taste. And okay, well, that's done. We just minimize this and just drag this one to the prefab folder. And first thing you have to do is the charter damage. You have to delete that completely, remove components. Yeah, 100% fine. And just game object, uh, so sorry, no component, sorry, sub game object. And you're the physics, and you're just standing red your body. Averaging is fine, and just leave it at use gravity because we want it to fall down like it should be, actually. And now we're going to dirt, and we, you know, update this one. Then we, uh, we just hit play for a sec. And if you can see it dropped. Well we're gonna do a little bit more animation with it at the block, but for now just leave it simple and uh just you know basically. Um whoa well, no, no 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 that's not good, that's not good, that's not good either. Two we have two blocks now, doesn't really matter. Um we have to the dirt block and we have to sign There should be a do it away. And there should be uh, that replacement. Just update this again. And check if this one is right. If this one's set right. Now let's test it. Well in the probably in the next tutorial I'm just gonna show you guys. And if you can see it worked. 
Now, as you can see, I'm standing in and I can't uh, really pick it up, so this problem. Now we're just gonna finish first our group block. So, as you can see, it worked fine. Everything worked. And if, well, I'm just gonna change this. Uh, it's standing 4 here. Well, we're gonna make 8 about 4. You can leave it at 4, just like it is in Minecraft, but I don't know, it's really short. Uh, well, uh, if you notice, you will just can you, you will be able to walk through it. So we're just gonna add a new component and go to physics, and you have to add the component box collider. Yeah, just it sure. Can't add box collider because it already contains. Ah, uh, sorry, because it was um yeah, it has that standard with it. Well, let's test it first because you know you never know sure before you test something. If you can see it works really good. Uh, just my gun goes through it, but that's not really that much. Okay, so now we're just gonna add an arm because if you can see you know that stupid thing is not really nice. Just create a cube, new cube, and call this cube arm and hit enter. Uh, we have to size it down a bit because it's not really nice. You now it's looking a bit like it's Cube, cube, yeah. Um, 1.5, I think. No, it's still too thick. That's a little bit better. Well, let's keep Francis at 1. No, 1 1.3. 1.3. 1.3, no. Uh, 1. Just leave that at 1. And put this one at 1.3. Okay, so now we have a nice arm prefab. Well, the first thing you want to do is rotate it a bit. Well, and we probably have to scale it down a bit more because it's really a little bit too. I'm gonna put it 1.2. Yeah, that's way too uh, much. 1.2 will be 100% fine. 2. That's looking a little better, but a little bit too much. This is this is looking nice. 